Hi guys, David from Apple Tips here and uh, many of you saw from the title I am going to disassemble the legendary 3310 Nokia brick the indestructible phone this uh, the fat guy the old version and I think most of you wanted this video because of the fact that my um, second most viewed long form video is the Nokia 2730 classic tear down and I think this one will be more exciting. So I hope you will help me make this more viewed than that. So without further ado let's get started. So the first step is to flip the phone around and we have a button here that we have to push and then pull up on the back and remove the back just like this. So in order to remove the battery we have some more stuff uh, happening down here which is this. Remove battery like this. And then um, we have to flip around and I'm not sure how we do this. Oh, like this. I remove this like that. As you see here, we apply a little bit of force. This can come out of this too. And now it's time to bring our screwdriver, to involve our screwdriver. So here I have my uh, multi-bit screwdriver for my fixity the precision metal one. And we need a, a Tor 6 or T6. As you can see, the T6 uh, edge is the screwdriver bit we're going to use in this is the basic Nokia style screw I think every old Nokia phone has this style of screw we remove every screw one by one like this I really love this fact about Nokia that they have the same type of screw everywhere and I don't need to care how I place them on the uh, fixing mat, fixing table and they are also magnetic which is very nice like an ASMR video then I think in order to remove this we need to involve our iPod opening tool which is this one this is an iFixit iPod opening tool and we should do this yeah I was right And this is the um, LCD screen, or I'm not sure what type of screen this is. This is the screen and the button membrane uh, enclosure and speaker here for the Nokia phone. Oh, I never knew this. Look how corroded this phone is. I haven't... I didn't knew that this phone was this corroded. Yeah. Oh, look how corroded is in this part where the battery connects. This phone, it's cooked. It's fully destroyed. Not gonna lie. 
there's corrosion everywhere on my table, which I don't like. We're going to remove this anyways. Have the vibration motor, remove it in the same way. Here I'm not sure what this is. I'll uh, let you guess because I'm not sure what this is. This is the uh, SIM pins. Oops. This is something. Button. Power button. Yeah, that is basically destroyed. I didn't know about how much corrosion this will have. Oh, I can remove this one too. Yeah. I got to admit that I love the repairability of Nokia. I don't think there is any phone on the market that repairable. I am going to perform a little cleaning and reassemble this. But before, let me show it on the table fully disassembled. So, this is the uh, brick fully disassembled. As you can see here, this is everything that is inside of this phone. And yeah, if you are going to disassemble yours, I hope you don't find this corrosion inside. I don't even know why this corrosion is blue. I've never seen blue corrosion in my entire life. It's usually gray or white, but you cannot know anything can happen with the happen with these old phones uh, when i fix these assemble reassemble our phones i always i'm always surprised what i can find inside of them and that's why i remain being a technician and that's why i love being a technician and fixing uh, disassembling uh, refurbishing or work into phones Nokia, Samsung and iPhone are the phones I um, encountered in my life and also a Redmi Phone or something like that phone that I fixed that was uh, only one experience but usually I fix old Nokia phones or Samsung or iPhones but no uh, other brands. Uh, iPhone and Samsung I actually fix newer ones too but Nokia only this uh, button classic style ones. So this is how uh, the uh, fully disassembled phone looks like. This is very nice, not gonna lie. It's a very nice inside. Uh, I'm not sure if you think the same, but I think this is a very nice inside. And I think uh, now it's time for me to clean it up and um, yeah, reassemble it. Wish me luck. So, another factor I love about Nokia is that I don't think it took me even uh, five minutes to reassemble this phone. And that means quick repairs on the phones and that, that if you have quick repairs on a phone, that means you can fix more phones in that day and it's more profitable. And that's why I love quick fixable phones. So, if you think uh, that uh, your uh, phone should not be fixable, you can tell me that in the comments. But, I think a better phone is a phone that you can fix and it's pretty resistant, which means you don't need to fix it, which is good. So, if you like what you saw, please uh, hit the subscribe button, like button and thanks a ton for watching and see you in the next one.